Uh, it's the first day of November and monthly sales data from the auto sector has uh, uh, started trickling in. And so far, it's a mixed picture. Uh, while auto uh, bellwether Maruti Suzuki has disappointed with its performance, Aisha Motors and Ashok Leyland have impressed uh, the street, and that's driven largely by Royal Enfield. Sonia Shinoy joins us now with all the details. Sonia, so what are the highlights from uh, uh, last month's uh, uh, auto sales? Well, it was a mixed bag for the auto sector this month around, but largely more good news than bad. So three out of four companies that reported their numbers reported good numbers this month. Let me start off with the best of the lot, which was Aisha Motors. Clearly, uh, the numbers for Royal Enfield were the record high sales this time around. It was the sixth consecutive monthly improvement that Aisha Motors recorded in their Royal Enfield sales. And the total sales went up 33% year on year at 59,000 units. Apart from that, Ashok Leyland had very good sales as well, the highest sales since the month of March. Um, the commercial vehicle sector rose uh, almost 33% for them and the total sales went up almost about 30 odd percent. Tata Motors also saw its highest passenger vehicle sales in the last four years. Commercial vehicle sales growth is the highest this year at 15% and medium and heavy commercial vehicle sales has finally seen a growth after four months of negative growth. So very good numbers coming in over there. The only disappointment today came in from Maruti. The sales were weak below estimates exports was a big disappointment this time around and the domestic growth has slowed down to low single digits as well and both year-on-year -year and month-on-month Maruti sales have fallen